The new expansion gave Rogue two new bounce effects with Bounce Around and Breakdance. And of course, we still have Shadow Step as well. So naturally, that made me consider, what's the most obnoxious battle cry we can play in Rogue? And I decided it was Ghastly Gravedigger, a 3-mana 4-3 minion that needs us to have a secret in play. But if we do, we get to look at three cards from the opponent's hand and shuffle one back into their deck. And from the opponent's perspective, that's pretty much the most annoying thing that can happen. You've got your cards in your hand, you're trying to play the game, but then the Gravedigger comes down and says, nope, you don't get to play the game. And we're going to do that as many times as possible so the opponent has as little fun as possible. Coin Private Eye? Sounds kind of sick. Control Priest. I don't think I love this matchup, but we'll see how it goes. Next turn is just coin private eye, and then what? I can go like one drop private eye on five, but I need to do something on four. Probably go one drop concoction. Maybe I shadow step concoctor to activate this on that turn. Cheat death perjury. Pretty bad cheat death target, but still a strong turn overall, I would say. Uh, probably a counter spell matchup. The good card. I can just go ahead and shadow step it here, maybe. These are all kind of mediocre. Wow. Why do you have a Krabatoa? Uh, and then I do have a cheat death in play, so let's get rid of this garbage. And if they decide to leave this up instead of killing it, then I will simply bounce around. You don't have a secret, silly. Do I want to bounce around, or should I just trade this off and be responsible? Let's go ahead and see what this can do for me. Ooh, deadly shot and add a card. God, I so badly want to bounce here. But I take eight, I go to six, it's probably just not reasonable. Such a bad card. Although, it's kind of funny with cheat death. Not a good matchup for it though, because why does my opponent have 33 cards in their deck still? I mean, I shuffled a couple, but damn. Alright, I should probably do this. Uh, Concoctor's not a bad cheat death target. Rabatella. I'm gonna trade off a claw instead of using my, well, I guess my weapon is also a claw, but trade off a rush minion here to make the cheat death better. Mm. 
That is fine. Okay. I'm probably just going hipster private eye. Although I guess if this goes up to a 3-4, maybe I Kravito it. But that's not what happened. Maybe I should go Sketchy Stranger here to get a secret for Hanar. Eh, hipster's better. Grave digging. Let's go fight over me. That's value. A cheat death and a double cross. Uh, I mean, the private eye does suck with cheat death, but the other two are pretty good. Gives me a concoctor, right? Which is okay. Probably just throw this into my bounce around at some point. Might be kind of dumb to play Rin here, but I don't know. It is tempo. Where you followed. I do think Counterspell is pretty good. Maybe I just go Hanar Counterspell. How likely are they to be able to deal with Hanar with no board and the first spell being useless? And like Light It Burns isn't good. I think this Hanar is actually fairly safe. Unfortunately, no Paladin Secrets, though, so I am always wasting a mana here. Uh, this Cheat Death is kind of appealing. I think the others are just quite bad. I guess Emergency Maneuvers is also good. Cheat Death's probably better. Okay. Wow. Oh, I drew the sketchy stranger that dies. That sucks. Alright, Ghastly Gravedigger. So, I think I'm... Hmm. Might play this counter spell over... Well, I guess having the cheat death in play is good with Gravedigger. I might bounce here. Demolition Renovator. Yeah, I'll bounce around here. I mean, like, these are the good targets, right? Queen Jara is getting pretty big. I can bounce around and then get rid of the card they just got off ETC, which is pretty sick. Look at all this beautiful value. Eight in hand. Oh, wow. Uh, it's got to be Svelna, right? Just got to keep their cards down. I don't really love them having Dissonant Pop either, but... Svelna is just the strongest. So what did I get? I got a double Hazy and a double Gleaming. And then another Gleaming. Probably not the best future side, but not terrible. Also, if they kill my 4-3, I do overdraw here. 
but eh, I mean I do have like Astalor, Tess. I have some pretty good cards in my deck. I also don't have many secrets left. Well, I think I want to go for Krabatoa Putricide. Side. Kill all this. I get four concoctions, which is fine. This leaves me with nine cards in hand, I do believe. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have six mana deal 12 next turn. And then I could even uh, Queen of Jara for a Ring of Tides to deal another six. I don't know if that's the best use of my Queen of Jara. It might be. What do I know about their hand? They have a harmonic or dissonant pop. I should know which one, but I don't. I think that's all I know. What are you? Draw three. I think I just want the colossal minion here. But Ring of Tides is very, very decent. Maybe I want Tidestone. No, I think I want Horn. That doesn't get replayed by Tess. Still strong though. I would have definitely liked something that doesn't just straight up die to dissonant pop though. It was on dissonant this turn. Might have to concoction a 5 4, which I think is fine. Astalore. This draws four. I'm probably just never playing this card. I guess maybe I'm playing this uh, get two random cards card. Maybe one of them is a secret and I can play Gravedigger this turn. Anza, oh my god, that's a two mana five five. Is Great Hall good? Should I just make my Astalor a 3-3 here? Probably not. Great Hall's maybe kind of sick with Fight Over Me. Just makes it easier to get the math done. That might be happening as soon as right now. But, I don't know, I'm just going to die to their Astalor here. All is unclear. So I can go Great Hall, Dagger, take three, fight over me, six mana, get two Astalors, I'm at six. Being at six is just so unacceptable. Could just gain ten armor with Astalor here. Only I had a secret to shuffle their Astalor. Could try to draw for it, but I don't know. This Rin is kind of sketchy because I have some good cards in my hand, but. I don't know, my opponent also has good cards in their hand. Like, if they don't just play Astalor here, they might lose it. They're not playing Astalor here. They loot, we both lose Astalor. And they lost two dirty rats. Hmm. 
I think that was probably a little better for me than it was for them. I guess I'm just shadow stepping this. I feel like these wrens are going to end up not being that good for me, but that's okay, right? I prefer post Pretty terrible. Do I even want to shadow step Tess here? I think probably not. Maybe I shadow step Ren. Ren is really bad. This Rin is just so, so terrible. I should not have played it. This Great Hall was also pretty bad. Wait, why was the test so bad? Why didn't... Didn't I play like a Freezing Trap or something this game? That must have been last game. Uh, this is a pretty good fight over me. If they're going to give it to me. Ha. Ah, destroyed. Oh, okay. Fair. Let's get some hazy concoctions. So, so bad. I have a cannibalize. I have fight over me. Probably just take the face damage, I guess. Love hazy. Double hazy. I guess this is... Maybe this is spell counter. Could fuck up their love everlasting. Cool. They tried to play into minion counter, but it was not. So this can put the school teacher to one health, and then I can fight over me school teacher noggling if it's good. Which it's very good. Perhaps even too good. Not Die. That is a hell of a card. Gotta be Anixia, I guess. Maybe I want to copy Armor Vendor. Kind of dying, and I have a minion that helps me win the game. I was planning to hit Okani, but maybe this is just better. And I'm just aggressively burning through these locations because they're just kind of in the way. Can this hit friendlies? It can. This is still counter spell. Okay, fair. On the 2 3, so they must want to play the spell in their hand. Or not. So, three, four. I can actually take two more hits of fatigue. Do I care about these little minions? I mean, I guess this attack is pretty free. Taking this one damage does up my fatigue clock, but I do have cannibalize. I need to try to kill the opponent. What? I have two locations. Uh, I mean, I do have a Nixia to refill my board here. Oh, am I? Oh, wait, I can trade one of these in. 
So I took three fatigue there. I'm taking four next turn. I don't think I have to worry too much about them killing me this turn. But I will be taking five off the next fatigue. So like cannibalizing school teacher won't be good enough. Let's just go ahead and see what this does. Just absolutely terrible. A uh, big weapon, I guess. I mean, I might have lethal next turn. Might not even need to heal with Cannibalize. I did generate 12 damage, or I guess 13 damage this turn, which is pretty sick. And I have seen double Whirlpool, double Pop, double Clean the Scene. Hey, that's a Cannibalize target. Please just don't hit Anixia. Anything else is fine. That's fine. Um, I'm showing 23... So, no way to have lethal here. Oh, this actually heals my Nexio, which is kind of sick. Um, 23, put them to 8, they're at 10. I don't think I need this 4 damage. Taking 5, I'm going to be at 8. I don't really know if this 1 damage matters either, but... I guess I'll heal this. Probably just not that much reason not to. No shot I play Rin. Do I make a totem instead of getting a 1-1? One -one? I don't really know what a taunt totem would do. Oh, they do have Krabatoa in their deck, actually. It doesn't matter against Krabatoa, though. I still die. I don't think the totemic evidence does anything. Alright, let's see if they kill me. Three damage. That is a great start to the turn for me. Oh, oh, and we got there. Oh, man, what a grind. The rogue mirror. Love a good concoctor. Look at all these concoctions. So something that goes with summon a guy. What could they do this turn? A, uh, the 3-2 alchemist thing? So I could, like, kill it and make a 3. Probably just want the card draw. And dare I say, I'll take even more card draw. If only I had a secret. There's my secret. Got a 2-4... Not bad, especially into this board. Bone spike. And then what? Okay. Not the strongest future side I've ever seen. I do kind of want to kill it, though, but I don't really know if I can do that. I guess I'm just concocting this turn. Hey, I got the good one. Nice. That was an extreme high roll. 
Look at all these beautiful bounces I have for this Gravedigger. Next turn is probably just Perjury Gravedigger, and then we... Uh, it's kind of annoying. My hand is full. Might still be Perjury Gravedigger. God, I hate this card so much. Let's just go Perjury plus one of these idiots. Pretty mediocre, honestly. I guess Freezing Trap is pretty good into that, though. Let's just hit him with some Grave Diggers. Draw four? No shot you're allowed to play that. Um, I could double bounce a Ghastly Grave Digger, but I think it's better to just play another one. Uh, I don't think the Stenographer is that scary, because their hand is so small. This is Summon, get some garbage. This is Summon, destroy something. I don't really want my something to be destroyed, because I want to bounce it. Next turn... Hmm. I mean, I do have a uh, bounce around for double Gravedigger next turn, but I probably just won't have a secret. I actually don't know how that works if they replay it. Like, if I end up with three audio bots in hand, does it pull all of them, or only the two from the second battle cry? Ooh, that's a whiff for you. But your board is so strong. There's a secret. But their hand is Stenographer, six mana Pazic, so I don't think these are important anymore. And take some value trades, break dance one, kill a three three. Opponent is showing eleven. It's not that bad. Probably just play future side here. Just an absolutely garbage concoction. Okay, that one's decent. Probably just play it. Do I want to shadow step this one for? Probably not. I think I have enough cards in hand. Oh my god. You're so lucky! That was obviously the best draw on their deck. Maybe should have bumped first. Tess. Does Tess do anything fancy? I played a Freezing Trap, but I think it was from Perjury, so it didn't really... doesn't really count. I don't think Tess does anything at the moment, does she? One three rush is surprisingly good here. Hey, this draw is Krabatoa. That's good. Probably just play another one of these. Choose a minion, destroy it after your hero takes damage. Might be good against this, actually. Wait, do you get shadow stepped? No, I haven't played any combo cards. Alright, I'll take the overdraw here, I guess. I think this arson accusation might end up being pretty clutch. Maybe I can Grave Digger to get rid of Astalor. And then maybe I can Shadow Step it to get rid of the other Astalor. The 
this should still be zero, right? Because it's a three mana discount on a two mana card. Shadow stuff is a bit of a sad overdraw. Uh, but I think I am going Krabatoa Arson Accusation here. That lets me kill all of these. I take three damage. That's fine. Wait, no, no, no. It lets me kill all four of these. And I take three damage. So that's five mana. I have four left. I guess I'll probably go for this. Give me something playable. These are not playable because of Neophyte. I guess I can shadow step something here. Fuck it. Give me something, hipster. Double eviscerate, let's go. So Tess still, she casts Arson Accusation, so she basically does nothing. Yes, Astalore number three. I can go Gravedigger, bounce around here, probably do that. Obviously not Pazic. I don't think I want to take five damage here. Hey, there's Breakdance, but they killed my Gravedigger, unfortunately. Well, I can go Whack Whack. Puts me down to 11, but it's pretty easy to not be dead to Astalore here. I can also just try to, try to hit an objection here. It's just such a broken card. I can also break dance the 6 4 instead of uh, instead of just trading it here. Let's me push 6 and keep a Krabatoa. Might be pretty decent, honestly. But break dance on Tess is still good because it turns out spending 8 mana to get another objection is pretty good when they have Astalor in hand. I actually think breakdancing the Krabatoa is better, but I roped too long. It's okay. My opponent's hand should be ter- Wow, they just go for it. Interesting. I wonder if they drew another Astalor and that's why they did that. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Summon a thing. Try to pick up a random defensive card. Failed. This doesn't do anything. It's a 3 4. So I push 5. My opponent's still at 26.
die. Oh, my friend! I have objection! Alright. You can only waste 14 mana into objections before it's simply time to concede. <laughs> 